Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at two products from Club 3D. On the left, I have their DisplayPort 1.4 to HDMI adapter, and on the right, I have one of their current-gen top-of-the-line HDMI cables. This will set you back around $55 US dollars before tax, and I believe the cable is around $23. Now, they recommend this pairing, and I'll explain why. For those of you wondering why I'm even sharing this adapter, let's get into it. So, I just purchased the LG 48-inch CX PUB, arguably the best OLED for gaming ever made. There's only one problem. Yes, it's got 4K at 120 Hz natively, of course, with HDR support, except there's no way to deliver that from a PC. I have an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, but as many of you may or may not know, you need an HDMI 2.1 signal, which simply does not exist here in our current gen of GPUs. And while that will likely change with NVIDIA's next gen GPU, which is right around the corner, not everyone's gonna wanna run out and spend over a thousand dollars or less, whatever it may be, whichever tier you wanna go to, in order to get this sort of support out of your GPU. So with an adapter like this, hopefully, the goal here is, is that I'm going to be able to output 4K at 120 hertz with HDR. We'll see what parameters in terms of the range uh, and color, but again, send that to the HDMI port of my brand new television. Now, this is not exclusively for gaming, but obviously you could see why there is a slant towards that. And in fact, Club 3D on the side of this box details requirements, and there's a reason. It's because it's not as simple as just buying it and plugging it in. This is designed specifically for what I and many of you out there that have recently purchased this TV or any of LG's uh, brand new CX lineup will need in order to make it work with a PC in today's current generation of hardware. So they tell you right here, it's specifically designed with the latest uh, GPUs that support DSC 1.2. I'm not getting into that right now. Uh, and they give you a list, bring it in tight for you. So you see all the AMD, uh, GPUs, you see all of the NVIDIA GPUs, and then the Quadro GPUs, and then even Intel integrated. You need either Ice Lake, Iris Plus, or UHD graphics. And then they also tell you, you must pair this with one of their Club 3D uh, high-speed HDMI 10K 120 hertz cables, and they do not recommend exceeding one meter, which is a little over three and a quarter feet. So be aware of that. This, again, will set you back around $55, around $22, $23. So this is, at least on paper, it appears to be a no-brainer uh, for the purposes that I'm employing. Let's see if I can just open this from the bottom. So right now, with the LG OLED, which I just added to the studio, I have a new setup, I will eventually uh, be sharing that with all of you. That's flanked by some monitors. It's uh, pretty nice, if I may say so myself. The one problem I have with the LG, which again, this is hopefully going to solve, is that right now I can game at 4K 120 hertz, but with no HDR and the color support is pretty abysmal. Uh, you know, it's, it's just not what it should be. It's not what it's actually capable of. But with this pairing, I should be able to fully leverage the capability and that's very impressive because when I first got the TV, I pretty much assumed, like many of you out there, I'd have to wait for NVIDIA's latest and greatest. But now with this on hand, well, that all should really change. And of course, I'm going to be reporting back how this goes. I mean, that's the entire premise of the review. And they did furnish this uh, to me for review purposes, but that's because I sought them out specifically since this is the only adapter of its kind on the market. You will find plenty of DisplayPort to HDMI adapters, but none that can deliver 4K, again, at 120 hertz with HDR support. And with the TV right now, what I was mentioning is I can game at 4K 120 hertz with abysmal support, but I can't do so with HDR. The only way I can get HDR support is if I drop down to 60 hertz. And there I can get better range in terms of color, uh, but still, it's not what the TV is natively capable of. So the fact that this, uh, is going to hopefully permit me to do that without buying a new GPU. I think that doesn't just make it unique right now, but I think it makes it unique 
well into the breadth of next year because this is going to make it so that when people do get new TVs, not just the one I mentioned, not just the 48 inch LG, you're going to have the ability to run 4K at 120 Hertz with HDR support without having to upgrade your GPU. Now, again, I did show the list and you know, you do have to have at least a uh, 2060, an RTX 2060 or an AMD RX uh, 550, or excuse me, 5500 XT. So it's not that, you know, you can get away with having a mediocre card. You still have to have a decent GPU, but after all, if you're looking to game at 4K 120 Hertz in HDR, or even just deliver that signal, God knows you already know that, right? So you can see it comes with a Type-C uh, cable right here, because there is an input, I believe, for power delivery. So that's another thing. I'm gonna to have to hook up, that'll be part of the setup. And then, I mean, I have other HDMI cables to test, but again, Club 3D is only going to stand by their recommendations, which I completely respect and understand, which is that you use their cable. Again, this is the one rated at 10K. Uh, and, you know, it just makes sense that if this is how they've tested it, you want to recreate that. You have no reason to wanna to try to make this happen any other way. So I will be testing this, believe it or not, today. That's how quickly, because this is my everyday setup. So to not get this going immedi immediately only uh, serves to hurt me. Uh, this is something I've been waiting for ever since I reached out to them and they said, yeah, sure, we'll send one over. I was excited because this is going to change the way I can use uh, my current primary monitor. Again, the LG 48 CXPUB. So, Exciting to say the least. And by the way, this isn't just that it's rated at 10K, it's also the gauge of the cable. It's the over, overall bandwidth and throughput that it can deliver. So if you try to do this with anything other than a cable like this one, it probably isn't going to work. That's what it comes down to. But it's as simple as connecting it here, connecting this to your GPU, of course. And again, I'm assuming that I need this for power. I didn't see instruction. Oh, there are instructions. I spoke too soon. Of course there are instructions, right? And as mentioned, it is for power delivery. So that is not in English. They are based out of the Netherlands, if I didn't mention that earlier. And uh, basically just a thank you for purchasing and then an explanation. They're telling you update your graphics drivers, update your TV's firmware, uh, and then of course make sure that the HDMI cable is, again, I, I would go with their brand. I wouldn't even just go to spec uh, because even if you have the right gauge, and rating, it doesn't mean it's gonna work. Whereas Club 3D is standing behind what they're making. And again, for $75, $80, I mean, you're not buying a new GPU. Is there really anything to discuss? Uh, so this will be interesting. Um, you know, it's gonna be a little tricky with my case in terms of fitting this in here, but I in there, but I think it'll be fine with the run of uh, the DisplayPort capable, but we will see. Either way, if this ends up delivering what it is supposed to, this is a game changer. Uh, without any reservations. And again, remember, this is the first of its kind. There is nothing else competing with this on the market now. I'm not saying that there won't be in a while, but right now, what you're looking at, I, I'm assuming I'm the first uh, video on YouTube covering this, and I think this is going to become incredibly popular as more TVs with HDMI uh, 2.1 support emerge. And as you know, more people purchase them, not just as they come out. So in this case, uh, again, this is going to be paired with the LG uh, 48CX uh, PUB, and I'm just excited to get it going and report back to all of you on its overall performance. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Again, this is, in my opinion, a complete game changer if it works out as expected, and I think it will. I mean, otherwise, I don't think Club 3D would have sent it over. And I don't think it's in stock right now. I'll try to include a link in the description. I think it's currently unavailable. It was available for a little bit. And I think they were expecting to, to deliver them towards the end of this month. So uh, I will look to include that and in any other additional information that I can. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, post any questions or comments, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. And please stay safe. Later.